Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a card similar to this one. Um, this is a birthday card and it says make a wish on the outside and then on the inside it says cheers in orange. How cool, right? So what we're going to do, I got upset with myself <laughs> because I was coloring this and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to just suck that right on up, buttercup. And we're going to color over it. Yep, I said it. We're going to color over it. This is color pencil. Um, I think this was Prima. Prisma. I don't know why I would say Pris, Prima. This was Prisma color. And we're going to color this blue. Just like that. So it's going to have some undertones at the bottom of the dress. I guess a little bit darker dress. Then the top. Portion, and that looks cool, right? That looks pretty good, pretty awesome. Um, because I hate to mess up when I am coloring, especially once I've stamped out. I stamped this out six times, so I guess I was like, okay, you're gonna make a mess, you're gonna screw up something. Go ahead and screw it up. You have a lot of other pieces, but I just want to try to salvage it if I can so I did color her shoes black so she'll have on black shoes which is fine I think this would be great and I used a pen a permanent type of pen so I couldn't erase that off but I'm able to erase this this black portion that I did so far which is good and I like how it's turning out you know some um, dresses that we uh, purchased have um, weird, crazy um, colors to them when they move and shift. So we're just going to pretend like that's what this is. Right? I don't want to have to fix that. I don't want to rush while I'm coloring it because. I could definitely um, screw it up even more. So, and I think it's coming out okay. I really do. <laughs> I may be a little bit biased, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, you see, like the seams. I'm, I'm sure you've seen dresses that have like the seams are colored a different little color to make the dress kind of pop out. And see the top is like light and it kind of transitions into dark, which is really good for my um, screw up, I guess you could say. Even though these are like, uh, what are these, fine tip, I don't know, brush tip, I feel like I have to stop breathing, I have to hold my breath, I have to do everything so I don't screw it up. Right, I don't know. So I have a a friend. Her birthday's today, and they're having a little uh, get together. No, they're not having a get together. They're having. They're going out to eat, taking her out to eat. And I'm like, I didn't even. You know, she told me yesterday, last night. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I said we may come up and visit you at work at her work we were there yesterday and she didn't say anything about it not that I want to go to the, the get together um, only because I don't want to go so I'm not like offended that I wasn't invited or anything like that um, I think if I was in a different headspace I probably could be offended but oh this is dry Ooh. Um, I think I told you already, someone gave me a, a few Copic markers to um, see if I like them. And I was like, you can give me as many Copics as you like, but I will not, not in this day, be purchasing Copic markers. Only because I'm not that good at coloring, um, blending and all that other stuff. But I think that it, 
if I were to try to get into it, I may. I might. That's a, a super duper big giant might, which I doubt um, purchased them. So let me get the color pencils. Make the color just cheer up. I think. I don't know what color I'm going to make the chair. Maybe. I don't know. Let me see. So apparently the chair is going to be gold. I just pulled out um, some markers and stuff. And I didn't even swatch it to see if I was going to like it. So it's going to be. It's going to have to work. Because I've already committed to it, so to speak, right? Because here we are. I mean, I could cut her off the chair, I guess, if I really was concerned about it. But I'm not too concerned. Okay. Um, let me get the crayon. Okay, so I decided to get rid of the chair because I screwed it up. So, I have been thinking, <laughs> do I just want to stamp the bottom of it and paper piece her on or not? And I'm going with or not at the moment. We'll see. Let's see if I can't color her skin. Um, we'll see from there. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. I went with the gold. I was going to make the chair gold. And then I did something and it just looked like I was distracted more so than anything. So I um, decided to... Just cut the chair off. Cut the stool off. I mean, I could always re-stamp her out that piece again. But I'm going to see if I can't try something else really quickly. And we'll see how that works out. So I'm going to try and blend two colors together. Um, I usually lay down the light one first and then put the darker color on top just so it looks somewhat decent. I think the other lady I did really well with because um, I had swatched it out but this one I kind of I swatched it out but I'm not I'm hoping that it'll come out okay if not I'll be really angry with myself because I really want to salvage this image so let's see if I can't find a necklace for her really quickly so this purple, this bluish, it's like a denim color, I guess. I hope it works out for me. <laughs> We're gonna see though. Oh, keep misplacing my scissors. Yeah, I find them there in my face, right in my face. I'm just gonna. Try to cut this little piece off. Let's see how that works out for us. For me, I should say not us, but for me. We're going along on this ride together, right? So that's why I usually say us. And hopefully it works. Because the other image, even though this one that I'm coloring now was the first image that I started to color, the, this one came out, I think, came out really, really nice. Um, I love it. I love everything about it. It came out really good. So let's see. Okay. Let's try a different color. Alright, so I colored her up. And I feel like I need to trim. On another one, I cut this little cowlick, cowlick off. I usually just call them the alfalfas. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to cut that really quickly. And I don't have my precision scissors with me at the moment like to get in there really well so this is gonna have to do for now 
All right, and so we're gonna use this green card base and I'm using these papers from the Dollar Tree to cover it up. And I think I wanna use these stripes um, and not the flowers, only because I like that. All right, so I think what I wanna try to do is make some, I'm just gonna try it out and show you. Okay, so what I did is I just cut this two sheets down and I just want to do kind of like a uh, quilt. I don't call it a quilt. I want to just um, weave, weaving, weave, I guess you could call it weaving. I don't know. I'm calling it weaving, I guess. And I'm going to use some liquid glue. Um, trying to make sure I get the edges. So whenever I use liquid glue, I feel like I don't want to go to the edge. And I think it's only because um, it's going to get on my fingertips, right? So I'm just going to slide this on a little bit and then rub it into the spot that it needs to be in. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a, a border, I guess, on the base of the card. I hope that makes sense, what I just said and did and now with this one I think I want to do it like that yep so getting the edges really well and then I want to put some in the middle and with this card I I know it's going to do some bowing and that's okay because I'm going to lay it flat once I I'm going to lay it flat on this on this side once I finish as long as I don't get a lot of glue all over the place. And then I am going to let it dry. I'm going to place something on it so it's flat. Alright, so then the next piece would be the stars again. So I want to make sure I cover up any of the base card besides what I want to be left out to be seen and I could I probably could have just put the glue all over the base card but I am slow when it comes to putting stuff down so I don't want to um, have it dry up and then have to reapply because the goal is not to reapply a lot of glue on here You know, I don't know people that think that it's um, easy to make cards or how quick it takes to make cards. But if you actually put in some time and work on a card, it takes a while. Um, you know, I do try to save you some of the boring stuff but it takes a while and I've tried to make this card once you no know, three times already so ugh, just imagine the time and you know I'm not anywhere near as professional as some of those ladies that are on YouTube or even have their blogs where they show you know every step by step by de in detail it's just it's interesting how people think that some handcraft things are just handcrafts, you know. I think if people actually knew how much money people invested into handcrafts or handcrafted cards, they would probably uh, realize that it's not as cheap as people think. And people think that people are being cheap when they give them a handcrafted card, which is another upsetting um, thing. I read this post where someone had said that they, their mother, the mother-in-law wrote to Prudence and asked her a question. She said, my daughter-in-law loves to knit and crochet. I think she said knit. So we gave her a gift card to the local 
knitting place where they sell yarn or whatever. And um, she knitted us a blanket. So it's six, six months and she knitted them a blanket for their anniversary. And the mom, the mom, the mother-in-law doesn't like it. She said, my daughter-in-law, I told my son to take it back, to let take it back and get us a real gift. <laughs> the people that read that post on in Facebook, they were like livid. Because if you've ever seen crochet or knit blankets and projects, those things take a while. Even if you're crocheting really fast and knitting really fast, um, think about the time and energy and the hours that go into it. Um, and it's kind of heartbreaking for someone that you um, consider to be family to think that what you've made them is junk. So basically she was saying that the daughter-in-law re-gifted the stuff and she told her son and, and um, the son was like I'm not telling her to take it back she, she put time and energy and you know a lot of effort into making this for you and you are ungrateful basically which you know he stood up for his wife and he probably was like you should have never made that for her and even the mother-in-law said it was a nice blanket she just felt like it was a re-gift I'm like how could you even think that you're, and that's why I don't like giving gift cards. But in some instances, you know, giving a gift card is really good. I'm just putting some tape, some um, foam tape onto this lady. And she's just going to have to be seatless. I'm not going to restamp out that uh, stool. <laughs> I was trying to see if I had like another stamp that may have had something else that she could sit on but I don't so yep she's just SOL right now um, she can hover I guess I don't know oh. almost dropped the phone I don't even I only give handmade gifts to a few people um, cards, you know, because you put a lot of time in cards, but like when I crochet hats and things like that, um, scarves, I don't give them to a lot of people. I give them to people that I feel will appreciate and like and want them. Um, other people, I just buy stuff for from the store. I'm not going to, I can't, like I had made my son um, a scarf for his, because it was cold in Mississippi, it was cold. I had made him a scarf and he still like plays with the scarf even though he doesn't understand that mommy hand made it for him he still plays with it and that makes me extremely happy you know she even wrote and said at first you know before this incident they were really like a close family and they did things together she said now they only um the daughter-in-law is very short with her and they only discuss the grandkids and things like that and i'm thinking uh lady get over yourself and um so um prudence she said um she had wrote to prudence hoping that prudence would be on her side but uh-uh prudence kind of gave it a ride at and i was just like Ooh. but you know people don't think about it like that you know people don't appreciate hand created cards why give it to them or hand created anything for that matter. I'm just gonna um I'm trying to practice re turning things to their appropriate spot as I use them versus waiting and putting it back when I finish everything. So yep. And I did like how the orange came out on here, so I'm gonna use that again. And that's just this goldfish from Ranger. It's a dye ink um, pad. I don't know the difference. I guess pigment, dyes, archival, they all have different properties. Archival, I know, is supposed to keep it where um, it won't change or fade or run or anything like that. And I guess it's good for watercolor. I really don't know, um, to be honest. but I love how this orange comes out. And that is the card, ladies and gentlemen. 
I enjoyed making it. Um, I think I like this one more because it has a seat. Like she even looks smaller now that she's kind of tilted. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it because it's on wet. Yeah, I may not be able to fix her. So she looks, even though it's the same exact um, stamp, I mean stamp, same exact stamp in my opinion, this one looks smaller than this one. Um, and she's tipsy. You can tell she definitely tipsy. The card leaning, it's all flaky, foldy up and you know, I use wet glue so on both of them which I'm okay with. It just looks different. And this one says make a wish. This says celebrate. And what I did is I took um, something from, who is this lady? Heidi Grace. And I cut this little, uh, shell, snail, shell, snail, snail. I cannot, I don't know, snail off and get that. So I like it. I hope that you have enjoyed this crazy journey that we've made. I hope that you have a great day. Until next time, happy crafting.